dumpling dilemma. That pork supply problem we talked about earlier causing a dumpling shortage at Yasu Hospitality. President of Yasu Hospitality Group Chi Zhang joins me now with more on all of this. Good to see you. We wanted you earlier in the show, but thank you so much for making it in. I know traffic in New York is getting tough, which I guess is good news, but the shortage of pork is causing you a serious problem. Uh, how severe is the shortage? Um, uh, thank you, David. Yes, yeah, so the, we are not only shortage of pork, but also shortage of a, a modified starch. Uh, it's from international shipping. First, we use high quality pork, and the price almost double. And uh, we, we don't want to downgrade our product quality. That's the first. And second, due to the increased price to get container overseas, um, so our supplier just cannot get our starch from Southeast Asian countries. Now, are that, you losing, uh, Chief, forgive me, are you losing customers because you can't provide them what they want? Yes, uh, our our signature product is our soup dumpling, and the customer uh, comes in and see they cannot order it from, from our post system. They turn away and go. Um, I'm very sad to see this, but uh, we can do nothing, but we can, cannot get the, the good quality, good price pork and the, the starch. Now, Chief, we just, we just had a report earlier from our reporter who was at a, at a pig farm in Illinois, and one of the reasons that their prices are going up for everything is they can't get enough workers. They, uh, they, they have a, a shortage. There is a, a, a surplus of jobs, a shortage of labor in this country. Uh, is that what you think is causing this problem for, for the shortages that you face? This is, this is true for restaurant industry. We can we've been hiring, hiring, and no one even want coming to do an interview, and uh, it's tough. You now we even increase the minimum wage, uh, increase minimum pay to to uh, sixteen, seventeen dollars. Do nobody want to come even for interview? You have a minimum pay of of over fifteen dollars an hour, and you still can't get the workers. Do you know why? Is it because of all the money that they're getting? paid by the government uh, in unemployment insurance. Yes, I, I've been speaking to some people. They they can do nothing and they get paid over $500 per week. Uh, why bother them to come out to work? $500 a week, and a lot of that, of course, they don't pay roll they don't pay payroll taxes on that. So that's probably more than the than the take home pay at $15 an hour, right? Exactly. Yeah. Well, gee, best of luck to you. I, I, actually, I'm anxious to taste your, your dumplings right now. They, they sound pretty <laughs> good, and I, I may be over there a little later to try. Thank you very much for being in. I appreciate you making the effort to get here. Thanks very much. <laughs> Thank you, David.